I was about to shut up shop and uh, I thought oh, I'll put some oil in this uh, blower motor here and I thought this is an absolute brilliant time to show you what these engineer pliers can actually do because we used them the other day on this heater where the screws are rusty you can't get a screwdriver into there it's virtually impossible well you can't get a screwdriver in at all you can't get any pliers in this way but these wait a minute worth their weight in gold look at that name me another tool that will get them little tiny screws out yes I know we have those left handed things but that Brilliant. Wish I had one years ago. The screw's rotten. You know, the screw's no good at all. But it got it out. Oh, I'll put it down, I'll put it back on something. Yeah, let's go with, have a go with another one. These ones here you could use a piece of a pair of regular pliers on, no doubt, but let's have a go at these ones here. I love them. I, I was so pleased somebody told me about them. They just the screws just fly out. Well, well they fly out, but you know what I mean. They come out. It'd be nice if you could salvage this blower. See, look at that screw there. Look at that one. There's no way that would come. Look at that. That's with humidity and damp. That one is a bit tight, that one. Come on. Come on, Mr. Engineer. Oh, you beauty. Look at that. Hey, let's take some. Take some getting out of that one. They didn't snap as well. That's good. Uh, these motors are actually uh, Delco motors, uh, but the actual, well the blower's Delco, but the uh, actual motor's made in Japan. What's it catching on? Yeah, I think the bearings need a good look in it. I wonder if that will come out. Put that up there with the pile. Ah, oh, there's some more practical screws here. I wonder what this these do. Well, this just drops the motor out in one big piece. I'll be, be overjoyed if that happens. Doubt it, ruin my look. Nothing. Nothing. Does that come off there? Oh, we have an access hole. Look at the muck in there. Look at the rust. It did work. Well, isn't that clever? Those Japanese are very clever. Japanese pliers on a Japanese motor. Uh, let's give it a quick blow job. Oh, Jesus. What sort of oil would you recommend for that? This bloody oil can's empty again. Um, what would be a good oil? Um, let me have a look. Ah, oh, we'll just use some regular 530. So, that one. Get it down in the bottom. Oh, it's leaking out already. What a 
damn good idea to put a, a, an access panel in there. Listen. Lovely that. So I wonder it was a bit of oil in the blowjob. Another job fixed. Build that back up tomorrow with some new screws and see if it's right. So I left the fan to soak overnight with some oil and I tested it and it works fine. But it's got an annoying tick. Works really well. So here's the conundrum. I'm not going to put it back into this housing because the housing's broken here. I didn't realise that. I'm supposed to have a look on. This is a lot better plastic. I wish I'd built old bloody Land Rovers out of this stuff. This is really nice and flexible. This, the majority of the plastics on the Range Rover and the Disco are uh, so brittle. You know, you just have to look at it and it breaks. So that is kaput. It goes in recycling or over next door's fence, whichever comes first. I'll keep this fan as a good spare, but like I said, here's the conundrum. How many do you need to change? Because if the original fan had seized up or something like that, if I do do a repair in the future, well, why not just oil it and try it? I really don't know. It's a, it's a, really is a big problem with keeping spares. I didn't realise that at the time. But uh, you can hear it's got a like... It blows really, really strong. It's just got a bit of a tick on it. Now, you, you'll get some customers who'll say, well, it's nice, but I, I want one better. What can you do, eh? So, I'll put it on the shelf, and no doubt in five years' time it'll go in the Sunday sort-out. <laughs> See you later.